let us start with this. We have modulus of x plus 2 plus modulus of x minus 3 plus modulus of x minus 5 less than 15. Before going on to this question, I want to discuss one idea with modulus along with the number line. Here the number line, number line is nothing but a line that has all the re, all real numbers on it. Now, particularly if you have any two points on the number line, let us say P here and Q here, distance between these two points, this distance is nothing but P minus Q. Very simple idea, but extremely powerful idea. Right? Between P and Q, the distance between the two points is P minus Q. Now, keep one thing in mind, I am writing this as P minus Q because P is to the right of Q. P is larger, so I am writing it as P minus Q. If Q were this side, then it would be Q minus P. Or effectively, distance between any two points, P and Q on the number line, nothing but modulus of P minus Q. Because it could be P minus Q or Q minus P, depending on which is larger. Effectively, this is modulus of P minus Q because distance between two points cannot be negative. And very simple idea, extremely powerful idea. I am going to use this idea to try and solve this problem. Let us go back to the number line. The three points I am interested in now are minus 2, 3 and 5. I am going to mark these. There is 0 in the middle. There is minus 2 here. There is plus 3 here. There is plus 5 here. And I know that any point x I choose, if I choose x here, here or here, I am effectively thinking about distances to minus 2, plus 3 and plus 5. Right? So, let me choose a point somewhere in the middle and then start from there. Suppose I choose x here, then this expression is effectively this distance plus this distance plus this distance. Distance between x and minus 2, distance between x and 3, distance between x and 5. Wherever x is, this is what I am computing as far as this question goes. Straight away, notice one point, but if you forget this, this and this will always add up to the distance between minus 2 and 5. This plus this is effectively this distance. So, any point x I choose between minus 2 and 5, I can say I am measuring the distance between the point and 3, and then adding 7 to it. This is 7 units this term plus this term will always add up to 7. Whether x is here, here, here or very close to 5 but less than 5, it does not matter. For any point in between minus 2 and 5, the distance to minus 2 plus distance to 5 will always add up to 7. That much I know. So, because of that, all I need to calculate is distance between x and 3. Right? So, any point between minus 2 and 5, this expression boils down to 7 plus distance between x and 3. Right? Now, I want to solve this inequality, so let me take extreme values. Let me put x equal to 5. Then these two will add up to 7 all right. When x is 5, this expression becomes 7 plus 2. These two terms will be 7 and then this distance is 2. So, 7 plus 2 which is 9 which satisfies the inequality. Now, if I substitute x equal to minus 2, then this expression will become 7 plus distance between minus 2 and 3, 5, which is 12, which again satisfies the inequality. Why am I substituting extreme values? Because I know anything in between the these two terms, this and this, add up to 7. So, I am worrying only about this term. So, I am substituting an extreme point here and an extreme point to here to see how that works. So, now we know that x equal to 5, the inequality is satisfied. x equal to minus 2, the inequality is satisfied. Anything in between these two, the inequality will be satisfied because these two terms add up to 7 for any x in between these two points and the distance to 3 will never be such that this inequality is not satisfied. And so, this extreme works, this extreme works. So, any point between minus 2 and 5, this inequality is satisfied. Now, I am going to break this further and then think about points to this side of 5 or this side of minus 2. Right? Let us start with values to the right of 5. Remember, every point between minus 2 and 5 works. So, as far as this question is concerned, I already know that minus 2 to 5 works for me. Now, I am going to have the same idea, number line, this is a 0 here, minus 2 here, 3 here, 5 here. 
I'm going to think of some point x here. Now, for this, I have to measure this distance, this distance, and all the way up here, this distance. I have to add these three and then see whether it compares with 15. Again, I'm going to break this down differently. So, this distance, I'm going to break this as value from the point till 5 and then 5 to 3. This distance from here all the way to minus 2, I'm going to break this as value from here to 5 and then 5 to the point. Right? This distance, because I'm thinking in terms of distance, I'm going to call this as d, d, d. I know 5 to 3, this is 2, 5 to minus 2, this is 7. So, from for this expression, I'm effectively calculating the distance between x and 5, x and 3, x and minus 2. I'm breaking it as x and 5, and then x and 5 plus 2, x and 5 plus 7. So, this entire expression now becomes d plus 2 plus d plus 7 plus d less than 15, where d is this distance. So, this is 9 plus 3d less than 15 or 3d less than 6, d less than 2. This distance is less than 2 or from 5, I can go up to 2 units or I can go till 7, not equal to 7. So, I know 5 to 7 also works. I know minus 2 to 5 works. I know 5 to 7 also works. So, it's a very simple idea. I'm just thinking of this entire expression in terms of distances on the number line. Any value between minus 2 and 5 works for me. For greater than 5, I can go up to 7. That works for me. Now, I need to think about this range, less than minus 2 range, and then I'm through. Again, I'm going to redraw the number line. Think about minus 2 to 5. Let's take this line. There is 0 in the middle, minus 2 here. I'm choosing any point x here. I'll effectively have to measure this distance, this distance all the way till 3, and this distance all the way till 5. I'm again going to break it. So, this distance from the point till 3, I'm going to break this as till minus 2, and then minus 2 to 3. From the point x all the way till 5, I'm going to break this as till minus 2, and then minus 2 to 5 minus 2 to 3, this distance is 5 units, minus 2 to 5, this distance is 7 units. Let me consider these values again as d, d, d. So, my inequality now becomes d plus d plus 5 plus d plus 7 less than 15 or 3d plus 12 less than 15 or d less than 1. So, this point should be within 1 unit of minus 2 or it can go up to minus 3, but not, not beyond that. So, the value is less than minus 2. I know I can go till minus 3. So, this is what I am looking at. So, greater than 5, it can go up to 7, not including 7. Between minus 2 and 5, all points will work. Between minus 3 and minus 2, all, it cannot be minus 3, anything else will work. Of course, points minus 2 and 5 will work. So, putting all this together, we get the overall range is minus 3 to 7. The entire range from minus 3 all the way till 7 will satisfy this quality. The key idea here is any two points p and q, the distance between the two points p and q on the number line is nothing but modulus of p minus q. So, I am not looking at this as an algebraic inequality, I am just looking at it as a distances inequality. So, I can visualize how this works in the number line and get through after that straight away.